Hey guys, it's Olivia Rose 9 and I'm here to show you my briar horses. And let's get started. Up here we just have some stable mates and classics. Excuse the weird noise that my camera is making. It always does this. I don't know why. But yeah, back there is my favorite classic. And there was an accident with a cleaning lady. Some of the models up here got knocked over. Uh, this guy's ear broke off and was vacuumed up. Just my luck, because he got 8th place. Luckily I have a second one. And this is my first custom. Now I'm not going to uh, lie and say that he's great, because he's not. Um, I only had like black and brown pastels, so that's what colors I had to use. And I had no white acrylic paint, so no socks, no blaze or snip or anything. Uh, his mane and tail is glossed, his hooves are glossed, and his eyes are glossed. But yeah, and he was dropped by the cleaning lady too, so. And definitely not my favorite mold. And then that guy is my first fire horse. He's an Arabian stallion. Yeah. And this girl I am very proud of. She uh, just finished her yesterday. She is a unicorn, as you can see by the horn. Uh, she's very glittery. Um, she was just a plain black flicka. I'll upload some videos like before and after pictures because there's really a difference. I hope she'll place next year at Briarfest because I really worked a long time on it. Yep. And then over here we've got my first traditionals. Uh, this is Fire Magic Celebration Model 2004-2005. Uh, but I named him Bill. Yeah, it's Bill. And then this is Budweiser, that's his show name, and uh, I call him Buddy. Uh, he got third place. I think he didn't place higher. He's got really nice shading and everything. He didn't place higher because he had some smudges that I cleaned off. And then this is Darla. Um, I got her at Briarfest 2010. And she was up here when the cleaning lady accident happened, so she has a scratch on her hoof. I think I might be able to fix it. And this is Bella. She's an Appaloosa Sport Horse. Um, I wanted her ever since I started collecting in 2004, and I finally got her last year. She's black tie affair, comes with a stallion in full, but I just got her. Then a classic Shire, um, Creamsicle, got him for Christmas last year, um, Max the Cougar, and Buffo the Rottweiler. Um, then down here, first I've got this guy. Um, he's really cute. Uh, his name is, gosh, what's his name? Let's see my little list. I know I have terrible handwriting. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, his name is Joe. Yep, yeah, this is Joe. <laughs> and he's got some scratches on his legs for my sister. She dropped him a couple years ago, but I'm going to customize him once I get better at it. Then this guy got first place in 2009 Briarfest. Um, I know you're saying it's a Dutch Tugger harness horse or whatever his breed was, but put him in as a saddlebred because that's what he looked like. And so the judges really liked that, I guess. He was like one of the only ones in there as a saddlebred, and he got first. But then I showed him this year in 2010, and he didn't get anything. So that's just their preference. And then the Desperado, and his name is... I like to name Arabians, like, I don't know, Arabic names. So his name's Ghazi. And, um, I think Ghazi means winner or something, because he was the only the Desperado they got, um, that placed. And then this is Rag Riches. She got seventh. And she doesn't have smudging up here, which most of them have, which is good. Very pretty. And this is All Glory from 2010. He's got a box rub, but that's okay. Then this is... Madison Avenue. Got her for Christmas about two or three years ago. And down here, first I've got Matrix. And I'll take him out so you can see this. But, um, I didn't really know much about color variations in 2009. I've been studying a little bit more about briars and stuff. And so he's got a bad spot. And that happens with Appaloosa sometimes. So just make sure you watch out for that. Then Roxy from 2009. I think I'm going to etch her because she's kind of boring. No offense if you like Roxy. 
This is Poker Joe from the Audio Small. Uh, very cute. We got him for Christmas. An Alborozo. I'm gonna take this guy out. Um, he got 10th place in Celebration Model in 2008. Um, you might see him a lot. He's actually one of my favorites. I didn't really like him as much before. He's kind of grown on me. So you might see him in some of my little Alborozo videos. I love his flared nostrils. <laughs> and then, come on, dude. This is Justin Morgan. It's kind of weird mold for a Morgan. I've ridden a Morgan horse before, and they do not look like that. But, um, oh well. And this is Bluegrass Bandit, or I call her Kentucky Girl. Uh, she's kind of a weird light gray. Uh, I don't know. Usually the ones that I've seen are darker. So, yeah. And then in here, you might see this girl a lot in my videos. She needs to be cleaned with an antibacterial wipe. <laughs> with an antibacterial wipe? Wow, I sound cool. Um, but she's a glossy coochie. Very cute. Um, she didn't. She only got six, but it's because her tag fell off of her foot. The judge had to take her to the pony pound, and they usually don't appreciate that. I got the um, tag and took her to the class in time, but... Uh, the judges usually don't like that, but she's very cute. Gucci! <laughs> and that is my collection. Um, I'm going to be getting some new horses soon. My birthday is just around the corner. Uh, and I'll be starting to customize even more. Look at you. Oh, yeah, thanks for watching.